Merry Christmas, everyone. Just kidding. It's Thanksgiving and I want to talk about Andor. So I just finished watching Andor season one and I enjoyed the hell out of it. I think it is one of the best Star Wars shows ever. And there's not a lot of Star Wars shows, but there is definitely going to be a lot more coming. And because of that, there's a lot of comments about Disney Star Wars and a quality issue. And this goes over to the Marvel side as well. I am one of those people that feels that there is a dip in quality because we are getting so much quantity. But this is not a video about that. I want to strictly talk about Andor. For those same comments, that is the reason why I feel that Andor is so dang refreshing. And that's one of the phrases that people are a little bit frustrated with because every time we say that something is new and refreshing, sometimes it's just more of the same. And it's just a f emphasis on, you know, the new part. Just because we're getting something new doesn't mean that it's changing the game or that it's setting a new bar. Meanwhile, we do have Andor, who comes in and sets the bar pretty high. A spy thriller drama that takes place in the Star Wars universe in space and that leads up to the destruction of the Death Star? I mean, come on. Did we have that already? Oh yeah, we did, with Rogue One. And I feel that Rogue One wasn't my favorite Star Wars movie, but I loved so much about it. And this goes into that like crazy. This takes that baton and runs with it, and I love it. While I would love to explore every single character's motivation and get into the nitty gritty, I don't really want to talk about that because I feel like it's been talked about already. I think that there is a lot of discourse about what is the definition of Star Wars, and I think it's very simple. They are stories that take place within the Star Wars universe, in a galaxy far, far away a very long time ago. That is what Star Wars is. Us trying to mess with that and us trying to say, this is what it is. This box right here where the Force exists and with lightsabers and Luke Skywalker, that is what Star Wars is. No, that's how Star Wars started. Obviously, this thing is so much bigger than that now because it's expanded so much, but exploring stories within that universe makes it a universe. When the story is just the Skywalker saga and we just stretch that out to generations after generations, it gets tired. We, we, Star Wars isn't, this would have been called Skywalker then not Star Wars. Star Wars. It sounds big, it sounds epic, and that's how it should be. That's one of the things I love about Andor, and I'm not saying you have to love it too, but it's one of the things that makes me curious. How does the Rebellion work? How does the Empire work? Is there clerical work? Are there people who are just doing this to get a bump in their pay? What What is their motivation? Why are they doing this? Do, who is Who is Palpatine to a lot of these people? That stuff is fascinating, and I love how this explores that. A lot of people are saying that Andor is the best thing that's ever come out, and this sets a new bar, and I agree, but does every show have to look like Andor from here on out? I hope not. I hope they go different, and I love it. 